There are moments in science when a single frame, a single image shatters centuries of assumptions. A whisper of data so foreign, so anomalous, that it doesn't merely raise questions. It demands we rewrite the questions themselves. That moment has just arrived, because NASA's final composite of interstellar object 3i Atlas doesn't just look strange, it confirms a sequence of impossibilities that many hoped were just observational errors. And now the world's top astrophysicists are no longer debating theories. They're trying to explain a reality that shouldn't even exist. What was once dismissed as just another interstellar visitor, an odd comet on a hyperbolic path, has now revealed a sunward tale, delayed chemical reactions, impossible trajectory alignments, and in the final frame, a rhythmic signal buried in light itself. This isn't just a visitor from beyond the stars. This is something else, something that defies all categories we've built to make sense of the universe. And if the object's last images confirm what many feared, then perhaps the real question isn't what it is, but whether it was meant to be seen from the very beginning. 3i Atlas confounded astronomers with behavior no known comet had ever exhibited. One of the most jarring anomalies came not from some exotic data algorithm, but from something plain to the eye, a tail facing toward the sun. In standard astrophysics, the behavior of a comet's tail is nearly sacred in its predictability. Radiation pressure from the sun pushes dust and gas away, creating the iconic glowing trail that always points away from the light. It's such a stable law that we use it to steer spacecraft. But 3i Atlas violated that law. Its tail clung to the sunward side, a plume of dust and particles apparently moving toward the very force meant to repel them. For days, scientists thought it was a calibration error. Then came spectroscopic scans and with them the second anomaly. The dust was there, photogenic, consistent, unmistakable. But the usual chemical signatures were completely absent. No cyanogen, no diatomic carbon, none of the volatile gases that should have lit up the spectrum like a torch. It was as if we were watching a bonfire with no smoke. This ghost-like behavior suggested one of two things. Either 3i Atlas was composed of entirely unknown materials, or it was releasing familiar ones in a completely unfamiliar way. Both options point to something we haven't seen before in this solar system. Not with Oumuamua, not with Borisov, not ever. But the most disturbing detail, the chemical signatures only began appearing much later, as if the object were deliberately hiding its nature, then slowly revealing it piece by piece. As 3i Atlas continued its path through the inner solar system, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory began to notice something stranger still. This object wasn't just passing through. It was threading the needle, a perfect dance between planets. On October 3rd, it passed within 28 million kilos of Mars. Four weeks later, it swung by the sun at blistering speeds. Then, as if orchestrated, it glided past Venus inside Earth's orbit. These weren't just random flybys. They were precisely timed encounters, so geometrically narrow that the odds of a natural object aligning with them by chance, were practically zero. Using Monte Carlo simulations, millions of randomized trajectory tests, NASA's most powerful computers found that only 0.05% of paths matched the 3i Atlas actually took. For reference, that's like throwing a dart at a globe and hitting three microscopic targets in three different continents, with the globe spinning and shifting between throws. The probability wasn't just low. It was cosmic precision bordering on intent. When combined with its massive size, potentially five times larger than Oumuamua, the statistical absurdity compounded. This was no passive rock drifting through the stars. This was something purposeful, or at least behaving like it was. But the revelations didn't stop with imagery or orbital mechanics. Once quantum AI was unleashed on the full stack of survey images and light curves, it discovered something human eyes had missed. Buried beneath the noise, Beneath the scatter of pixels and fluctuating brightness was a persistent periodicity, a rhythm, a pulse. The AI detected this heartbeat with a confidence level far beyond statistical noise, less than one in 10,000 odds that it appeared by chance. It wasn't linked to spin rate. It didn't match known resonance patterns. It didn't align with the solar cycle or the object's velocity. It was just there, consistent, steady, a metronome ticking inside a cosmic storm. The AI analyzed across filters, wavelengths and telescopes, and each test came back the same. This was a real signal, not a glitch. 
For those who understand how comets behave, this was like hearing a violin in a thunderstorm. Quiet, precise, and entirely out of place. What's more, the signal persisted, even as the comet's brightness changed and its distance from the sun varied. Night after night, the pulse was there, echoing in the data like a message waiting to be decoded. Perhaps the most unsettling aspect of all wasn't visual or chemical, but physical. When researchers compared the predicted gravitational path of 3I Atlas with its actual motion, a quiet discrepancy emerged. A subtle but measurable deviation in acceleration. The object was moving as if nudged by an invisible hand, slightly veering off the expected trajectory. Not enough to raise alarms at first, but enough that once detected it couldn't be ignored. The most plausible explanation, outgassing when sunlight heats a comet and jets of gas act like mini-thrusters. But this theory collapsed under scrutiny. The gas wasn't there, at least not early on. And when it appeared, it was too late to explain the force already in effect. The timing didn't match. The direction was off. So scientists proposed alternate theories. Could the object be unusually thin and reflective like a natural light sail? Could it be made of exotic ices that vaporize only under precise angles? Or is it something even stranger? A fragment of a shattered parent body drifting as part of a fleet, each shard carrying clues to a lost star system. None of these explanations, no matter how creative, fully fit the data. What's clear is that something unknown is pushing on this object, a force not accounted for by gravity or sunlight. And if it isn't natural outgassing, then we're looking at something else. Something deliberate, or at the very least, something we don't yet understand. Behind the closed doors of international observatories and space agencies, something strange was happening. Not among the machines, but among the people. Scientists who had spent their careers dissecting data with cool logic were now speaking in whispers, meeting off the record and avoiding official statements. Some resigned. Others simply disappeared from public view. And a few of those who stayed began leaking anonymous comments to forums and encrypted message boards, claiming that the final images of 3i Atlas contained symmetry so precise it couldn't be natural. Not in the tail, not in the dust, but in the diffraction patterns of its core. According to one whistleblower, the innermost region of the object reflected light in such a way that it created a hexagonal array, a geometric structure not found in naturally occurring comets, but rather in engineered materials like photonic crystals or metamaterials. The implications were devastating. If this symmetry was real and not an artifact of image processing, then the nucleus of 3i Atlas wasn't just oddly shaped. It was structured, repeating, intentional. Internal communications from ESA began referencing PDD-51 tier protocols, a term previously unknown to the public. When uncovered, it revealed a policy created for non-natural space phenomena, a framework never expected to be used. But now it was active. This wasn't science anymore. It was containment. And many who once dismissed fringe theories now looked up at the night sky with doubt. For if 3i Atlas was not alone, what else might be on its way? As data trickled out, censored, fragmented, often redacted, some of the most controversial figures in astrophysics began to speak openly again, the ones long silenced, sidelined or labelled as conspiracy theorists. One of them, Dr. Arvos, once fired from Caltech for suggesting that Oumuamua was an interstellar probe, resurfaced in a live stream viewed by over 12 million people. With shaking hands, she displayed filtered images of 3i Atlas's tail showing repeating intervals in particle density, not random scatter, but modulation like binary code. Others took it further. A former cryptanalyst from GCHQ demonstrated how the periodic dust plumes mapped perfectly to a recursive fractal equation, one often used in digital compression algorithms. Was the tail not just a trail of debris, but a form of data storage? Was the comet's path not just gravitational, but programmed? The theory, once unthinkable, gained momentum. 3i Atlas was not a natural object, but a kind of interstellar archive carrying information across stars like a celestial flash drive. And its final images, those captured by James Webb before the object disappeared behind the sun, might contain embedded data. Information not meant to be understood in the moment, but to be unlocked over generations. This idea fractured the scientific community even further, because if true, it would mean that 3i Atlas is not just the third interstellar object we've seen. It's the third messenger. 
and the message might not be for us, but for something or someone we've yet to become. Amidst the chaos, a group of anthropologists and ancient historians released a paper that went viral overnight titled The Atlas Paradox.